Ho, ho, boys and girls. It's time once again for the Guys Weekend Podcast. I am Josh Tenney, along with, as always, very festive, very beautiful. He's uh, wearing his bush light Christmas sweater. Yes. Brandon Parks. Shout out to Brad. <clears throat> uh, Brad sent this in the mail to me. Uh, it's It's fantastic. Keeps me warm since we're in the middle of a uh, hurricane right now in northeastern Ohio. I mean to ask you, how bad did it get up there? Like, it's it's bad. Is um, it okay? Yeah, like I went out for work yesterday morning and it was negative eight, and then you know the, the wind chill factor brought it to negative thirty five. How much snow did you get? Uh, enough to cover the ground, an inch or two. So let me. Every there are places within the company I currently work for. Yeah, Canton was one of them. We have a distribution center up in Canton, mm-hmm. completely closed down. We have another dish, DC in Poca, West Virginia. Uh, they didn't completely close down, but they didn't run any routes. Pittsburgh, no. We ran routes. Uh, we ran. We ran every part of part of our operation. I I mean. I went to work yesterday at 7.30, and that was right when it was supposed to kick in. Uh, yeah, and the roads, were, I mean, they were terrible. It, you know, I'm sure they were out salting and, and doing all that stuff all night, but uh, all of the main roads here that are normally clear were not clear. Uh, the side roads, obviously, were just as bad. I but. literally have had an entire overnight shift call off and – it wasn't going to get bad until like <laughs> hours after they left. 12 hours after they leave. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, down. we had, we had a few people call off at work. They, uh, because they couldn't drive Pussies. in the winter weather. I'm like, you've lived here your entire life. You've lived here for at least one winter and you've had to drive somewhere. Like, get it together. People still couldn't drive yesterday. First time taking the truck out in the snow. I was doing some donuts. It was awesome. Uh, I bet you that handled beautifully. Uh, yeah, it wasn't wasn't too bad. Uh, the Jeep did a little better just because it it's heavier and I had different tires yeah. on it. Yeah. Uh, it did well. Um, I look forward to. I tested that out last year. <laughs> Tice and I tried to take the Jeep up the back hill after we had a snowstorm and almost buried it in the backyard. So, <laughs> look forward to trying to take the truck up there as well when we get a little more snow. So. Not a lot of snow, but uh, here in the studio, uh, it's cold. I don't have a, a I have like a furnace running. I turned my little heater off, and like there's ice, like there's frost on the inside of my windows, um, the window sills, the one up by my steps. Is also I uh, I came home from work at like nine o'clock, nine thirty last night. Mm-hmm. I, I look at the screen door and I'm like, oh, it's really like frosted. I touched the outside. I was like, there's nothing. Open up the all the frost is on the inside of the screen door. I had crazy driving last night to take uh, my guy back to work. I had frost on the inside of <clears throat> my car windows, and that was so. Yeah, it was the wind is ridiculous, and I heard it this morning. Like I, I made sure I battened down the hatches just in case something would fly away or whatever. Like make sure my grill cover was on and. And I'm laying here this morning, and I'm like, I hear this whipping, and I'm like, hmm, damn, something must have broke loose back there. So I don't know. I've got a tarp, I think, that was covering some firewood. I'm guessing that's probably what's whipping around because I can hear it now, and it's yeah. It's I'm not just, going. I'm not going. I'm not going back outside until it hits fucking 40 degrees this week. Yeah, we we we're going to uh, the in-laws for mm. Christmas Eve at four. Uh, that's only six hours from now, and it's still gonna be cold as shit. So give you start your car for about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> get it nice and, and toasty. And I did the remote start yesterday and I get in there and then it almost didn't start. I'm like, oh no. Like it's <laughs> it's real cold. Um yeah. that, yeah, uh, like, that that kinda, that wind yesterday was it was just painful. Like it hurt my ankles. I went to Chuck's house, uh the one up here, and he asked me if I could um run his water because he's living in Columbus <clears throat> just so his pipes didn't freeze. I'm standing out there in the driveway, 
freezing my ass off and like i had a little bit of skin exposed you know i was like an amish person or a mennonite you know i could just see part of my ankles and the wind was just whipping and i'm like god damn like it's cold and i'm hitting the button and i'm like fuck it's not working so i called him I'm like hey did you change your your code he's like no nah, it's the same they text me back like 30 minutes later and they're like oh well the power's out i'm like well i'm not going back there tonight because it's it's fucking cold so uh today we're supposed to dress comfortable for the Christmas Eve shenanigans. Uh, I will probably wear my bibs and my boots and my wool socks just in case. I, I don't know. Just, just in case. I'm not sure. I actually have a six pack of spiked Mountain Dew sitting outside on my on my fridge, <laughs> and I guarantee you they are all frozen right now. I, I'm a, I might go and swing by like a beer distributor and get something like a. I want something flavorful. Like I, I don't want to drink beer. I'm a little under the weather, <clears throat> so like I could probably drink anything at this point because I, I, I probably can't taste a whole lot. You should get a but, Christmas ale. Thirsty yeah. dogs, twelve dogs of Christmas. Just get you a little sixer. It'll only take <clears throat> two, and you'll be holly jollied out. You'll be good. I was, to I was thinking about going and, getting, and finding me like a spiked Mountain Dew or something like that. Uh. I'm going to check on those right now. Like, I just want to see. Cause like when I lifted the window up last night to put them back out there, like it was frozen. My curtains were stiff. Um, I'm going to let them sit in here and maybe I'll crack one open by the time this ends. Oh, that's going to gonna explode. Well, last night it turned to a slush. So I want to see now. Ooh, one second. You know what? That would be delicious. A spike Mountain Dew slushy. So there are places it, here in Pennsylvania, I don't know if it's the same for Brandon. I'll ask him when he comes back. But there are like sheets, and I don't know if it's other good. It's 7 Elevens. They sell spiked slushies. Uh, Brandon, Brandon, do they sell spiked slushies at like 7 Elevens up by you? Uh, no. They do there down here in Pittsburgh. Uh, they, but the thing is, they will not. Uh, they when they, when you purchase them, they put like a piece of tape. Oh on yeah. the top of the uh, where the straw goes in. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that way, you know, you're not supposed to you know, drink, drink and drive. drive you know, yeah, because like that, that little piece of tape is going to stop me from breaking the law. But it it's apparently it's delicious. Now I don't live anywhere near Seven Elevens. Uh, I'd have to go pretty far to do that. But I am. Like that's that's one of the things I want to do today. Like I, I want to go to a Seven yeah. Eleven get get a slushy, but I also just want to stick. I want to get like a six pack of like a spiked soda and just stick it outside and let it, you know, s- slightly freeze so it turns into a slushy. So it, it's it's solid right now. Mm-hmm. So I probably shouldn't hold it near my face. No. Um, it, the 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 Mountain Dews though, they're not as they don't get as fizzy, they're yeah, not as but, carbonated as like yeah. a, like a Coke or a Pepsi or anything like that. So <laughs> I've also got fine. six beers in my truck bed. Those things are, I could probably throw that through a window right now. Um, <clears throat> those aren't going to thaw until this afternoon, so I'm glad I brought them in now. Uh, I had a few of them last night on our stream. First time having them, weren't too bad. Pretty sweet. They did the job. So I got in, I get into a debate every year with my wife. Like mm-hmm. just asking my and my mom, because me and my dad are the same way. Uh, I constantly get asked, "What do you want for Christmas?" Ah, oh, every time. There's not there. There's nothing I want. It's hard for me to answer because I'm at yeah. an age in my life where, if I want something, I just go out and buy it. My dad's been the same way for 25 years. For as long as I've known him, <laughs> go, he'll just go out and buy it. So, yeah. you know, it it comes off as we're being difficult to shop for. Yeah. You know, get like they want to give give us like these big extravagant gifts, but like really, what I need is like socks, underwear. The shit couple, we didn't want as kids. Couple thermals. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Other than that, cool. everything else I get. I can same. get myself. <laughs> same. That was. Uh, I had the same thing. Come I'm at on. the I'm at the point in my life though, like. The, the thing I really enjoy about Christmas is like watching my kids open up their presents, watching yeah. my wife open up her presents. Yeah. This like, is the, f- yeah. 
Go ahead. Uh, the, I mean, I, I've been watching a lot of videos like uh, of men having the same issue. Like, uh, you know, you, you don't want anything and you, it comes off as being difficult when, but like what we really enjoy is being able to pro- provide that stuff to make you yeah. guys excited, you know? Yeah. I, uh, so normally I always ask where like Antiana's the one that, that always gets pissed off because I'm like, I just want a Home Depot <laughs> gift card. What she doesn't see is she's like, well, tell me a tool you want. I'm like, well, you're not going to go out and spend $300 on this super sweet thing that I yeah. eventually will buy when I need it. I'm like, so if you get me a $25 gift card, when I go to purchase that, it gets put towards it. Or I, I run in there because I need some drill bits or I need whatever it is. I always have, like, I still have one more downstairs, the $50 Home Depot gift card. I'm like, sweet. So I can run it. Actually, no, I just used it uh, on my grill cleaning stuff. So see, somebody's somebody's gift provided a year later. And it's like, just, she's like, well, I want something you can unwrap. I'm like, well, unwrap the fucking gift card. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, I don't know if you're having the same issue, but did you see my name tag on there? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's getting difficult to use the upstairs window. It's it's really weird that like the when it gets really cold, your nipples like poke out, but when it yeah. gets really cold, your fucking nuts shrivel up inside you. Yeah, rocking a walnut all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's almost miss- constricting down there. The yeah, old, I miss uh, the old the- yam bag. Isn't got enough <laughs> room in it. I I misjudged the wind last night and. Uh- I had a little splash back. <laughs> not not a whole lot. I, I, I cleaned it up, but uh, it, it yeah. It I had I had truck drivers that were I think it's like two hours after their appointment yesterday, but they're still they've been sitting out in the lot for like four hours. And I'm like, what? Why aren't you guys coming out and coming out into the into the warehouse? He's like, you kidding? I'm not walking out in here. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Make me walk out there. Bunch yeah, of pricks. Dicks. That's, thanks for the holiday greetings, ass. Um, so one of the things we put together. This is the first time in uh, that I can remember of Maggie and I being together that all of our Christmas gifts, with the exception of the ones I picked up yesterday, uh, have been wrapped and ready to go two days prior to Christmas Eve, which mm-hmm. is wild. That that was the plan yesterday. For my wife, but somebody, I won't mention names, yep. uh, did not take the, uh, yeah, Schmosh, he did not take the uh, uh, wrapping paper out of the Jeep before he went to work for 18 hours. That throws a little uh, wrinkle in yep. wrapping paper. Just gifts. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it got to the point where I am a, I'm a terrible gift wrapper. I would oh. much rather go to Dollar Lousy. General. And get those big decorated trash bags like Alex's family does, Faribault Effect, uh, and just throw all your shit in that bag. Because let's mm. be honest, I don't, I don't need to open all the. Just you, you know what I miss? I miss like going to malls, purchasing oh, something yeah. around Christmas time, and having to wrap and somebody you? being there to wrap it for you. Yes, like I offered God, money to why people. Can't we have that anymore to wrap oh, gifts, yeah. and they they Listen, just laughed at me. I feel you like know, wrapping my, gifts. My dad, make some money. My dad would go shopping for everybody three days before Christmas, and then have me and my sister wrap my mom's presents from him. <laughs> it's fantastic. I've got, I've got. So I had to pick up. My dad gave me his list kind of late, so I've got, I've got to wrap three DVDs. Not a huge deal. Um, and then Willis's Sono system, which is three more boxes. So I've got like six gifts to wrap. Not, not difficult. Um, I can do it tomorrow morning. I'll my, probably uh, do it after this. My uh, anxiety and OCD about wrapping gets really bad when you have the presents that like aren't symmetrical. And they're fucking, they're just yes. terrible. Uh, just I terrible. like I get, I get so frustrated and so angry. Yeah. Like I want to, like I almost want to break what I bought from my kids. Just so because I can't get yeah like <laughs> yeah fucking you st- wrapping a tie around it like putting a vice around it just so yep I don't know man yeah and then and then the worst is when you thought you measured right and then there's just that little gap and it got to the point where I was wrapping guess I'm like you know what fuck it and I just put a piece of tape on it and I'm like it's it's on the bottom you're not gonna see it when you rip it open so who cares and then like 
I was just trying to speed through these things. I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing all this. So like the gifts this big, right. And I had this much wrapping paper on either end. And I'm like, what am I going to do when I cut this part off? Like I, this isn't going to be used for anything. So I just yeah. kind of rolled that shit up like a Chipotle burrito and the, the wife, uh, the wife uh, likes to save those small sheets. I'm like, what are we going to do? She's like, oh, we're the little stocking stuffers. I was like, okay, that, that's all you dog. I try. I tried to do that because I got Maggie some some stocking stuffers that would require that, and I still had pieces left over. I, I couldn't cut them small enough. I mean, this is this is dumb. I'm not. I just wanted have to throw you, uh, the shit in the stocking. Have you ever bought something and then forgot that you bought it and then found it like three months later, realizing you didn't give that gift as a Christmas present? One time. I usually I usually keep everything pretty pretty close together. It happens for us for one of our kids every year <laughs> for like the last five years. Eh, it's a birthday like, gift. At that point. And we just found something in like October that we were going to give one of the kids <laughs> last year for Christmas. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh, yeah. There are hey, so many gifts downstairs. <clears throat> so I got to thinking about a couple of different things. Yeah. Number one. Mm-hmm. What are are there any Christmas movies other than the normal ones that everybody watches this time of year that you have to watch uh, Christmas? I know, I know, one of yours is Cooper's Christmas. I think yep. that's a probably that's probably a fairly obscure one, and not a lot of people yes. know about. We're introducing <laughs> the in laws to that tonight. Uh, I said, hey, I'm like. This is this is a movie we put on like after we've all had a few and the kids aren't paying attention anymore and they've already done gifts because it it gets a little it's a little weird. I said come into it with an open mind. It's a uh, I like the movie because I feel like it, this has happened. Like my dad used to record all of our Christmas mornings on the same video camera and mm-hmm. he still has the VHS tapes of it and everything. I'm like, there's got to be a family out there. Like this, this idea didn't just come from. Oh, let's just think of this. They stumbled upon a VHS tape somewhere of a of an '80s Christmas that was just as fucked as it is in that movie. Um, I wonder, but, like, I wonder if they go, they went on like Twitter uh, and s- just went through a lot everybody's stories and just could've. meshed yeah. them all together. As also, like one thing, that's what I would do if I'm if I'm if I'm a writer, especially for a comedy, because I feel like you can get a lot of scenarios that you would think like you just can't. It has to be made up because it's so fucking out there. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh yeah, that, that's it. Probably could have. Like, I if we you imagine if we wrote a movie, like and just combined all the shit that's happened to like our group over the years. And most of them would involve like Magoo. Yeah. Like, you know, passing yeah. out, you know, looking like a uh, uh, an angel in the fucking yard of my sister's house mm-hmm. the night before the <laughs> wedding, you know, or uh, Magoo pissing in the crisper in the fridge in the, at yeah. the cabin, you know, right. stuff like that. Yeah. It, yeah, that would be, uh, it'd be hard to believe. Um, <laughs> I so as for Christmas movies that I've got to watch that aren't aren't of the norm, um, I can't think of any other than Cooper's Christmas just because that's really the only one. I just I seen this debate online that somebody was having with their future spouse that they had to watch Gremlins every year. Mm, that that's a Christmas. I'm like, well, yeah, that's I a Christmas movie. It's, it was given as a Christmas gift, so. Uh yeah, I'm like yeah, that's it's a good one. Um, uh, somebody else I think argued Tremors. Well, I don't think Tremors. Yeah, sure. I think they were wrong. I think there I think there is one Tremors movie that might take place around Christmas time. Yeah, but I'm like yeah, stick with yeah no, yeah, stick with Gremlins. Hmm. It's more Christmassy. I don't know. You got any uh obscure? <laughs> Not the huge. I like the I like the old stuff, man. Like I'm a White Christmas, little Bing Crosby. Yeah, White White Christmas. Like that's that's the perfect movie. If you want 
like I, I've watched it a hundred times, but if it's one of those things like you want on in the background and you just want to, you know, doze off a little bit and have a nice little siesta while you're for the hour and 40 minutes that it's on. Did you know? It's beautiful. Did you know he was a Jew? Bing Crosby? Yeah. yeah. But he did that movie anyway. But he did Holiday Inn too. Yeah. That was a, it was a debate we had or somebody brought it up. Same with uh, Dean Martin never having a, a real drink in his hand. He was sober. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. He played it off well. He still smoked like a chimney. Pap told us that. He's like, I, I, he's like, I read a, a, his biopic or whatever it was, and uh, he's like, I've seen a few interviews about it, that he always just played that role with a – looked like a scotch glass in his hand, and he just played it drunk well. Born and raised in Steubenville, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, old big red. Man, they used to have. Uh, he he got his first. He got a start. I guess there was a real popular like uh, a real popular uh, dancing club out in Steubenville. That's where he got discovered. Yeah, there's a there's a picture in Harmons of the barber shop that I used to go to, or one of the ones that I used to go to, and one of the regulars is Uncle, I believe. Was cutting the Rat Pack's hair. He was he was hmm. their barber uh, when they were in town, which was pretty cool. Yeah, classic movies. I like I like some of the holidays. Like I like I like watching. Uh, uh, I like the Family Guy Christmas if it's on or um, South Park. You know, you got a, a little Mister Hanky here and there if it's on. You know, other you than know, that, you know who never made a Christmas movie? Hmm. Elvis. I'm surprised he didn't get involved in that because everybody else was making Christmas movies. Yeah, that's kind of strange. He didn't? No. Huh. That seems like a missed opportunity. That does. I've seen all 33 of his films. Not one of them was Christmas. Huh. Damn. <clears throat> if he if he was uh if he was or like if he was in his prime today, he'd be making. He'd definitely be making like Hallmark movies. Oh yeah, Hallmark Christmas movies making. Oh, yeah. He would have gave up singing. You know how much money they make off those movies? Too much because <clears throat> every fucking movie is the same plot, and Rhonda watches it every year. Oh my mm -hmm. god, I've seen this great Hallmark movie. I'm like, let me guess. Somebody broke up, and then they found the love of their life in a small town, and they ended up falling in love by the end of the movie. And Merry Christmas, they kissed. The the, yeah. the plot there so they have like two or three different plots that are always the same. It's always the breakup, and then it's always like a, a strong, independent working woman mm -hmm. who doesn't have time for love, finds love, and gives it a chance. Oh my gosh. Because and she needs the, fucking presents for Christmas, you freeloading bitch. And then the other one is, you know, a uh, a woman with her daughter or son is widowed. Yeah. You know, never yeah. thinks she's gonna find love again, and then oh, finds no. love, and he fits in with the family so well. It's amazing. It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah, God, <laughs> it writes itself. But the, it, it, like Hallmark and GAC make so much money oh, off so... of these things, like it's ridiculous. Like I was told, I, I read somewhere that if you want to make bank, you don't have to go. To you don't have to be in the like Avengers movies to make a, lot, a shit ton of money making making movies. You can go if you go sign with Hallmark and do like five movies a year with Hallmark that involve Christmas or a dog. Fucking done. It's oh you 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 can make millions of dollars a year just doing that. Does Hallmark have movies other than like holiday movies? <clears throat> oh yeah, I can't say I've ever watched. And and, and and guess what? You you this will shock you. The plot lines throughout the rest of the year are exactly oh, no. the same. <laughs> oh, just, just doesn't involve Christmas. Oh, middle-aged housewives everywhere just uh, swooning over the idea of true love can't be found again, even though it happens every time you watch the movie. Son mm -hmm. of a gun. Who would have thought? My, my, my thought process, if, if I ever became single Jeez. again at, at the age I'm at, because I'm at an age where, like, like, especially if I were to go out and start dating with uh, – Around pe women with my in my age group, yeah, I'll just start watching Hallmark movies and, and like notes. <laughs> and taking notes. That way, there's like a fucking puddle where they stand, you know. Yeah, yeah. Won't be needing these as they slide their 
cotton underoos off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Especially, I mean, especially when you're getting in your mid thirties to forties. Yeah, that's the yeah. solid approach. That's the ticket, you know. Good old Hallmark. Oh, guess what I got for Christmas this year? Ooh. Came a little early on Wednesday. I got a root canal. Oh. That was, <laughs> yeah. It was it was fantastic. I had a tooth that was bothering me, went to uh the old dentist at the recommendation of Brett and Amanda. Shout out to Minter Dentistry. They uh he was the most gentle man I've ever had in my mouth. Um Knocked me out. Got to use the gas. It was nice. Oh, they knocked you out. Love well, they didn't knock me really? out. They gave me the oh, gas because okay. uh, I had to go back to work. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it was it was sweet. So now I'm I, like, I'm trying I to don't bite get the down. gas. They just stick needles in my gums. Oh yeah, no. And I then they got they got to inject like do it five injections and stuff. These th- and then and then on top of that, my last root canal, they did five injections and then they started drilling. And I could still feel it. they had to do another one, like right into the fucking nerve. Yeah. So they did that, and then when they started drilling, I flinched a little bit. And he mm. goes, "Oh no, nope, hold on." He goes, "You're gonna feel this little pinch." And it, I mean, it was it was nothing. Uh, but he put it in the roof of my mouth, so like I was like a stroke patient. The whole left <laughs> side of my face was just fucking drooped. I was just drooling on myself and everything. It was great. It lasted till I don't know. I went in at ten. And it's like two or three hours. Oh no, I didn't feel shit until I think I went to bed. Oh wow, ten o'clock that night, and I still like my lip was still a little tingly. Like, I couldn't really move like any of the muscles. So paid for the good shit, which is nice. Uh, it looked like any... your looked like your face is melting off. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And then that night was terrible because I I would like like jump myself awake <sighs> and I'd bite down. Oh, oh. Thankfully, it's getting a little bit better now. But I also got something else cool for Christmas. This made its debut last night on the stream. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, That's a beaut. Yeah, so it matches the other signs outside. I talked about, uh, Mark and I were talking about it last night, that it'd be cool if I put some LED lights behind it. And left it inside. Oh, that would be cool. And lit it up. So I might, I might get me a little strip of smart LEDs, and I don't, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'll find somewhere to put it, hmm. somewhere close to a, a thing. Yeah, because other than that, I'm like, what else do I really need? Our our goal this year was camping stuff. <clears throat> so we I, we I bought the tent because it was on sale already. I'm like, hey, just throw me some dollars for the tent. Well, what else can we get you? I don't know. Well, let's get you this and that. Let's get you a rug for the tent. I'm like, what the fuck I need a rug for the tent for? I'm camping, guy. Come on. This is I'm I'm paying money to go be homeless for a week on weekend. Like I Yeah. <laughs> come on. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Um got my four wheeler up and running. And I was like, well, maybe a plow would be cool. And then it dumps this shit outside. I'm like, well, it's a little late for that, I guess. So, hey, what are your uh, what are your go to Christmas snacks like something you only mm. have around Christmas time? Mostly it's and it's probably mostly because they have them up front and like Walmart where they're visible and you don't even think about them the rest of the year. I eat more. Small like Reese cup minis than I do any other time of the year. Mm. The, the ones in like the gold and the green yeah. and the red. Um, oh no. I just got a text for a subject we're going to bring up when I'm done with this. Reese Christmas trees. Um, I, I guess the, the biggest holiday treat I think I eat the most would be Christmas cookies. Like I, not even like buying it from the store because I'm, I'm always stocked up on, you know, uh, peanut M&Ms and, you know, I always got my my cavity inducers, but yeah. yeah, Christmas cookies I think would be the the big the big hoot nanny. I'm a I'm a Hershey Kisses guy. Oh yeah, that's from like December first to Christmas. Like I, I'll buy 
probably six bags of those throughout the year, throughout the that time that time period. Damn. And then I won't I won't touch another Hershey Kiss the rest of the year. I'm gonna buy Hershey Kisses today because I just a, had two sitting on my desk from when we made cookies and I ate them. I'm an almond guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the almond. See, I gotta watch that now with the with the tooth. I gotta, mm. I gotta I gotta test it out. You know, I can't keep can't keep slamming it into the other side because. Ugh. So this this topic, oh my god, chat is blowing up right now. We were going to do a a, a, a holiday series just to, uh with all the in laws tonight, and we wanted to talk about this subject, which I still might take my laptop over and, and record it, and we can figure out how we want to do. Um, so there is a family member in question uh, and they got married two, two years ago. The spouse looked like Rachel Maddow. Okay. So, um, and it was a, he, so mm, yeah, not attractive. So they, they met, fell in love probably eh, maybe six months. They, and then they got married. Had this big extravagant wedding. Maggie had to be the maid of honor. It was the worst, <clears throat> worst wedding I've ever been to. Terrible. I would rather stick my dick in a pencil sharpener than go do that again. So they get divorced. Like, we all took bets. I'm like, there's no chance. They're like, oh, well, you have to go to the reception and this and that. I'm like, I'm going to show up in shorts and Crocs because I don't really care. I- I'm not here for this. I said, this is dumb. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I wish you all the best. But, like, his best man cried just sobbed uncontrollably when they had their first dance. And I'm like, it's because they touch tips. They are gay together, and he no longer gets to throw it in his back door. Fast forward, not even another six months later. So we're at like a year and a half right now, total, of them knowing each other and and being together. They got divorced. Mm -hmm. Didn't see that one coming. Bada bing, bada boom, a year and a half goes by, two years goes by. She, She dated like two or three other dudes. Meets this new guy, and we were all taking bets, just kind of fucking around, like, guaranteed they get married. They're going to get married. It's the love of her life, yada, yada, yada. This kid's weird as fuck. I, we just talked about this, about how Maggie's like, I'm not being the maid of honor again. I'm not doing this. I don't want to be in the wedding. This is, nope, not doing it. I'm just going to tell him no. Like, Harper, the niece, was supposed to be the flower girl, and they told her, no, we've got something to do that weekend. I'm not going to this wedding. So I just get a text that comes through here. It says, guess who's the maid of honor in so-and-so's wedding? Apparently, Maggie said she is going to be the maid of honor. What? She said she felt bad. Are you? F- i got to yell downstairs right now. Man. Fucking, this is ridiculous. Oh, my God. So hey, yeah, so we're, we're the uh, we're the, was her, was her ex husband touching tips with the best friend, best man? I think so. Uh, I, we, you know what? That because because I thought that's where the story was going. <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> we definitely go, think they did. And come 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 around two years, you find out. Oh well, the the husband cheated on her with the with his best man. I I wholeheartedly believe because they were still hanging out and they were like real close, like um. You know, like we've we've got best buds, like we do the guys weekend thing, but we're not, you know, we joke about being gay, but we're not gay. So they I think they legitimately just like like it's like Logan and Jacob gay. Like they, you know, they just thought it was funny, like, ah, let's kiss. And then, you know, they kind of liked it. Uh yeah, Maggie just said, Do not talk about this on the podcast. Tough shit. Slick, it's already on there. <laughs> she, she doesn't listen. She doesn't listen. No chance. Hey. I'm going to post it on her Facebook wall. Here's your here's your <laughs> wedding gift. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, send her a copy of it. Hey, as a as a one redneck once told me, just because you suck another man's dick, don't mean you're gay. That's right. That's right. So I, they're they're definitely gay. Uh, this this is just oh my god, this is disheartening. Why why? <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to grill her now. I, I we're gonna talk about this at Christmas Eve. Um, I am not going to this wedding. I, I want it to be known. I'm stating that here now. I will not be in attendance. I will not be buying a gift. Uh, Unlike Maggie, are you gonna hold to your word? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I, listen, I didn't want to go to the first one, and I dipped out of the reception after like 35. I ate dinner and left. 
Right. Actually, me and her brother left and we went to a uh a pool party <laughs> at a guy from work's house and drank a bunch of free beer and then went uh I don't remember where we went after that. Oh, back to back to their house for a pool party. Another pool party. This is just this is disheartening. This just kills the Christmas spirit. I hope she wises up and texts her back and says, you know what? I can't do it. She's not going to though. Mm-hmm. Why? Like why? Ma- Maggie's oh. a people. Maggie's a people pleaser. Yeah, but she talks so much shit about. I don't want to do this. She's dumb for doing this. Just, I mean, the whole time, and then turns around and goes, "Yeah, okay." Does, Come on, the, guy. does this guy look like Rachel Maddow? No, he reminds me of a. Uh, uh, see, we haven't really come up with a good, like. There's a, there's a certain TV character that I'm drawing a blank on. Like I can see him because I know what the guy looks like. But um, think like, think Dilbert, but <laughs> like five foot two. Yeah, he's like your he's like your he, so he runs Geek Squad. Uh, so he's your typical manager at Geek Squad. Um, damn, there's a certain TV show. It's gonna drive me nuts. I'll end up texting you when I think about it. That's that's exactly exactly what it looks like. He came over here one time and and they duped me into sitting down in the living room and I wasn't allowed to be rude and just go back upstairs, which I did anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. was this in your house? Yeah, yeah, and I, I just said no, I don't want to do this. You're not allowed like, to be sit rude down. in your own house. Apparently not because it wasn't nice because it was I'll, the first time meeting the new boyfriend. Like I gave I'll him. limit my rudeness in other people's houses. Oh yeah, yeah. This but dude I'll, drives a lime green. Honda Accord. Oh, what the fuck? Honda Civic. Honda Civic. Oh, yeah. he's uh, he's poking. He's been, he's can... he's poked a butt. Oh, definitely. He's held another man's penis in his hand. Um, the I can pinpoint the exact weekend he was here. When I broke my Xbox Series X, when I busted the uh, the HDMI port, mm. I heard I heard that she was coming over to just get her her bangs cut. So I'm like, all right, she's gonna be here for fucking 30 minutes cool i sit down to eat a bowl of cereal and they come just trouncing in the house i'm like who the fuck is this guy and then it's oh meet him he's so nice uh-huh. and then they go in to cut the hair and i'm just sitting there on the couch with this dude and he's just kind of looking at me and i'm looking at him and i'm like this is i'm gonna go play video games now and maggie's like you sit down there and you talk to him i'm like yeah we already did and then i and then i went upstairs um i, I just i had nothing else i had nothing left to give um it's uh beer distributor uh near me is uh, actually open today, so I'll be making a pit stop on my yes. way out. I got so, I got yes. some last minute stuff I need to go to Target and get for the wife because I don't have time to do it during the week because I'm working 19 hours a day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chuck just sent me a, a picture. He's uh, drinking some bourbon this morning, mm. um, and uh, he's enjoying it. So, oh my god. Yeah, this is damn, damn. I just completely derailed everything. Just a, <laughs> an absolute culture shock bomb. Uh, man, I just I don't know what to do now. Like I, I'm I'm beside myself. I mean, I know what I'm going going to do. I'm just not going to go. Um, they had a horrible time at the bridal shower or the. Uh, Bachelorette party. Hmm. Uh, do you know what they? Do you know what they did at the last one for the grooms? Barbecue. Oh, no, 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 for, no, for the bachelor party. The they bachelor played Pokemon party. and had a movie night. Oh no, that's a winning combination there. Yeah. Like the if I'm gonna do anything like that's not involving like a strip club, probably like have like a a D and D night. Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, because then we can all just get trashed and have fun, and it's yeah. cool. Not gay. Um, guys, guys, weekend. You know, yeah, yeah. Magoo would probably get up on the picnic table and start taking his clothes off. For take some money off for some clothes. Yeah, yeah. classic Magooism. Oh man. Hmm. Well, all I want for Christmas is for them to not get married. That's what I want. But hmm. here we are. What a, what a fucking, ah. oh, well, what are you going to do? I'm going to make fun of it until it happens. 
Uh, and she she has so I have a picture I'll send you. She has an expressionless face. Oh. Anytime she does anything, it's just Oh, you're getting married. Oh my god, look at the ring. It, it, every time, and you're like, what the f-? like what the fuck? She, maybe, maybe, yeah, I don't I don't know she, what she's doing to these men. Maybe she's uh maybe she's really a lesbian, she doesn't know. That could track. Uh, she dated possible. she dated one dude that was that was pretty cool, but she <laughs> she broke up with him because he had a drinking problem. I'm like, well, he had a drinking problem because he had to fucking date you. Like, come on. <sighs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be something if like they broke up magically? You know, he stopped drinking. He's clean and sober. Right? You know? Yeah, he's he's, he's got he's on it. He's on it. He's got like a, one of those two year fucking chips. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be some shit. Uh, <laughs> We had plans to go like hang out at his house. We were drinking, drinking Bush Light, playing some board games. He's like, I like playing board games too. It's awesome. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Um, some of the some of the people in our circle, and the their their choices in significant others have been questionable. You know, one in particular. Hey, did you know that the heart is a muscle? So, have you met the new guy? Yeah, I've met I met the new guy. Okay. I don't know who I want, uh, who, uh, I just don't know. Yeah, they're getting married too. There's some questionable, people make questionable decisions. Why don't they listen Mm -hmm. to people that are, you know, intelligent? Like, why do they have to, uh, I don't know, it's weird. Hmm. Hmm. So, I've got to wonder, like, how many people are actually going to go to this wedding? Like, like, what's the? Do you wear the same dress? I mean, why buy a new one? Because you're going to buy a new. third one when you divorce this dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can, technically, can't that be the <laughs> something borrowed? <laughs> <laughs> something old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it could be. Um, see, well, so I borrowed, not, I borrowed this from the last wedding. Yeah, not to mention any names, but Schmanda, Sh- um, she had a just a, a a thought on how she's getting these guys to marry so quickly, and um, it involves a four letter word where there's two A's in it on the first date. Those two A's are separated by an N. And that ends in an L. So I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's if that's what they're um, doing. Um, uh, I don't know. Give, it, she's giving got up the some, old starfish, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's hubris, I guess. I don't know. Uh, that's not enough for me to put a ring on it, you know? They haven't known each other. Uh, not even a year. It's been like ten months. Hey, listen, Sir, months. The, the 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 same person we know that we were talking about previously, yeah, will, you're right, has been engaged after like two months. So yeah, you know, I'm not Man, saying anything. The... Yeah, I don't know. He's he's another one. I, I don't know, man. He's had he's had thirty five jobs in his twenty four years. Slept of life. with seventy eight women at each of those jobs. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe fifteen dudes. Oh yeah, yeah. He's definitely been a part of a devil's three way. Um, trying to get, trying to constantly get in. Was it Alex's pants? Yeah. And Tice. Tice. And, and, and Moth, Moth too. Yeah, that Moth surprise me. Yeah, no, that's the least surprising thing. Yeah. His <laughs> old, uh, uh, his old uh, lady moves up here next week. Oh yeah. And she doesn't want to move in the bitter cold. Uh, okay. Well. You made the right choice. Yeah. When we tried to get you to move up here in October, when it was still warm out, and here we are. Negative. Well, she's gonna wait until next weekend when it's forty. Yeah. So we'll, yeah, yeah. you'll see, <laughs> and then then I'll watch it. Watch it drops down to like mid teens the week after that. So they have to have the U-Haul back by the second or the third, and I think they're she's leaving on the twenty eighth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth. 
And I'm like, listen, it's going to get cold as fuck next weekend. And you guys are going to have to unload all that in the, in the cold. Who's driving that up here? She is. Oh. With her daughter. That's going to be no fun. No bueno. See, we had a I don't know, I don't know what it's like too. with women, like women driving together. But like, I would not be able to make that drive with my wife. Or any other female for that matter. No. Like me and you, uh, we could probably do that. Like, uh, we could 16, drive to California. 16 and hour drive would yeah. be nothing. Yeah, it'd be like, great. It would probably feel like, you know, six hours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Couldn't do it. We concocted a plan that when he went down there this past week um, and, uh, he was he would just drive like the u-haul back up instead of flying back up so he would take u-haul loaded with shit and then it would give him more time to unload things this would have circumvented the frigid temperatures that are outside right now and then all she would have had to have bring or brought when she came up here was whatever the the three boxes they were living out of for a week Hmm. or they could just mail it yeah she's a Have- At this point, she might as well should, just should have waited for like March. <laughs> well, that's when she was going to. It was it was going to be uh, I don't know spring break when she was going to pull her daughter out of school. I'm like, it still snows here in March. Yeah, at that point, just wait until June. That's going to be a real shock. I mean, what what is it now down in Florida? Like seventy five. No, 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 no. It's actually uh, 25 degrees. Really? They're having, they're having wow. cold rain. The iguanas wow. are falling off trees and shit. <laughs> that is that'd one be, thing I would like to see. That'd be something to see. That'd be so cool. Man. Just... Hey, and you know what's great about the like lizards and stuff like that? So we had one time when I was working at FedEx, we used to get these uh, reefer trucks full of fruit. Yeah from florida and mexico and shit like that well there was a lizard that we thought was dead uh-huh. on, on the back of one of those trucks we pulled it out into the into the warmth within like a half an hour it got loose in the warehouse <laughs> it thawed out and said i'm here bitches <laughs> <laughs> that's great that, yeah that'd be that'd be cool uh one of chuck's buddies uh, his name's pat we were just playing the duty last night, and Chuck was saying that he wants to buy a monkey. <laughs> I'm like, listen, man, just because you got money to spend doesn't mean a monkey's the right way to go. Am I going to go down and check it out? Absolutely. Yeah. Would I buy a monkey? Eh. No, Probably they get not. aggressive after a while. I was going to say, then I said, I'm going to have to whack that thing with a club and pull a fucking Indiana Jones and eat that bitch. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> This, this pulling the skull off, Mo- yeah. Monkey brains, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, did we talked about that on another episode, didn't we? The uh, that uh, the scenes of death movie or whatever it was, Mm-mm. oh Maybe. man, it was it was a whole, I think we did, I think it was with Alex. Um, but they they show it like the many like the faces of death or something like that. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but they have a they have a table full of people sitting at some disclosed location undisclosed location and they bring out this monkey in a cage and they put the monkey under the table which then it like pops up into like think of like a sorry board with the little popper in the center but it's just the monkey's head and then everybody at the table just takes turns whacking it with a hammer <laughs> <laughs> and, then they, and then they eat the monkey and i'm like wow that's fucked up but okay um yeah so it's hey uh so i'll this week, I don't know if you saw, but two things that uh, came out. Well, three things. Number one, uh, I I guess uh, DC just said, "Fuck it, <laughs> Henry Henry Cavill's gone. The Rock's gone. We're gonna. I guess they're gonna. Uh, they're not. They they canceled Wonder Woman three. Yeah, wasn't that because of? I thought there was something something behind that is he just like i thought he said he wanted to just strip down the dcu and just start all over yeah I, I guess that's what he's doing i guess he wants i guess they want to go james gunn wants to go younger and everything the only thing that the only things right now that i know that are still greenlit is joker 2 
uh, they're, and they're still going moving forward with uh, the Batman sequel. And those are the only two that I know of. Who, when have we ever seen an old Batman? <clears throat> well, I don't even think I I I still don't think they're. Uh, I don't know about the Batman Beyond uh, one they were gonna do. I know he's a huge fan of like the Teen Titans and stuff like that. So, have you seen that show on I HBO? Not. I heard it was Titans. Good. It's it is pretty good. Um, I'll have to check it out. So also, they released uh, some still footage of uh, Indiana Jones Five, with Harrison Ford in the Indiana Jones garb. So, I believe that's set for a summer release this year. Sweet, sweet. That sounds. That's interesting. That, mm-hmm. That's that's cool. I'm always I'm always about Indiana Jones. You can't yeah. go wrong with Harrison Ford. No. I mean, it, it's just a, an all-around good, wholesome experience. Anytime you watch Indiana Jones, oh yeah, makes me want to buy a bull whip. Um, and a, and a fedora, I guess. And the third one, they dropped the first trailer for that '90s show. Oh, I knew they were going to. I haven't watched it. Did you see it? The I, I saw the trailer. Yeah. So they're gonna, there's going to be cameos from many of the old uh, original cast, minus Danny Masterson, who's raping people. Yeah. Can't Allegedly, that, in Allegedly, science. Yeah. It's, 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 I mean, it's it's Scientology. You know. Yeah, you can't take that to court. So. Yeah. It, I mean, it, very possible it could have been. He could have, but it's also very possible that he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Because they do a lot of uh, very shady things. They do. But it uh, seems uh, it, it looked pretty interesting. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the, a lot of those shows tend to get a little too woke for me. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it didn't seem like it was woke from the preview that I saw, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I'm excited. I just uh, somebody was shocked, shocked to find out that Fez stood for foreign exchange student, and we never really knew his name. So really, yeah. Like, you you didn't even know what country he came from, right? And and there was there was no name, so it was just foreign exchange student. <laughs> it's like, eh, okay. I mean, have anybody has anybody really done anything after that? Um, Wilmer Valderrama is one of the cast members of NCIS right now. Oh, okay. Astro and what's her? Kutcher, you know, yeah. Well, he's Mila Kunis. He, he, yeah, that's all he needed to do. Get Laura you. Pepperon, you know, was Orange is the New Black. Yeah. Right. Topher Grace is the really only one. Well, to- Topher Grace has a pretty good show on uh, ABC right now. Um, oh. I can't remember the name of the show. The wife watches it a lot. But, I mean, everybody else, everybody pretty much on that show went, went on to do something. Oh, yeah. Uh, cool. Well, let's uh, – we can, we can wrap this up. So, for Brandon Parks, I am Josh Tenney. This was the Guys Weekend Podcast. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Toyotathon.